This is where we left off in the previous video. We could jump, move around, but there is no sprinting, there is no crouching. Basically, in this video, we'll handle the speeds. There will not be any physical crouching, because we don't have a physical character yet, we just use a capsule. First, let's go into our player input actions. Add an action, call this a sprint. In the no binding, we'll hit listen, and I just press my left shift keyboard, select the left shift keyboard. Add another binding, and gamepad, button south. Add another binding, call this crouch. Inside the no binding, say listen, and I'll click my C on the keyboard, C keyboard. Add another binding. In this binding, we will um, gamepad south, yeah. Button south. Okay, so basically the shift, I have to give it left to stick press, not button south. That's for the crouch. Okay, button south for the crouch, and for the sprint we have um, a left stick press. Okay, compile the scripts, and here we are. I have it open in my IDE, the player controller. <laughs> so we will start by adding a header saying movement and we will do define a serialized field float for our walk speed so walk speed and we'll set to default of um I think three is okay yeah three Another serialized field, type private, and this will also be a float. So will be walk back speed. Back speed equals two. And after that, another one. Serialized field, private, float. This will be our run speed, which equals seven. And we'll define another one, run back speed one back speed this will be five so five and serialized field private float this will be our crouch speed and another this will be called two equals two crouch back speed this one is going to be this back speed will be a one yeah that's pretty low but it equals one um i will put it later on but you can put it right now okay so got the current speed up there let's put down here okay now let's define a private bool and this will be is walking another private bool this one will be is um, uh, is a sprinting and the third bool for our is crouching that's it for the bools and now down here we will have to make a new function okay so where do we make the function I think it's good to make it above the handle and put and move okay so private void handle speeds that's a good name handle speeds this will basically set the bulls this will handle our speed the current speed variable that's why you call it current speed you will change it according to what is going on if you are walking then. So first we need the input vector, just like we got it in the handle and put move. We'll say vector two, and we will say input vector, just like we named it down there. Input vector equals our input dot player dot move. It's inside the move, so move dot uh, um, dot read the value so dot read value type vector 2 and we will simply end it then okay so we got the input next we will have to do some checks 
like it's gonna be like a toggle so you want to hold the shift key to continuously run you just click it once and click it again to stop it running so that's the thing that I go with I don't like to press it for no reason for long just keep it like a toggle so command set the bools so we'll start by writing if input dot player dot we call it sprint right so input dot player dot sprint dot triggered so I have so this triggered he will write is sprinting equals what is sprinting was not so what was not so that's always the opposite of what it was originally so that's that's it for the is sprinting boo and underneath you will write is crouching equals false so we don't want any one of the others to be true if one is already true if inputs dot player dot crouch dot triggers if it's triggered then we will have to make the is crouching not equal to what it was before so not equals crouching is crouching is crouching and uh, finally underneath this line we'll write is this printing equals false and uh, that's it really for the input checks and now we go to if just to check to get the walking bool too if it's not sprinting and we are not walking oh sorry and we are not crouching is cr we are not is crouching so is crouching then we will simply say is walking equals true so is walking down there is walking equals true and that's it then we'll just put a simple else else is walking equals false okay now we have this we have to call this method every update but right now let's start by finishing off this method so we'll add an we'll add another if so we just add one more if you can't be at the input so we will always be opposites so let's write if input vector equals vector 2.0 so if there's no input in the moving vector say is a sprinting should be false because if the guy is still then we shouldn't allow him to even toggle he's sprinting but okay so that's just a check you don't want to end up with some not very good ideas so let's go down after setting this to false we will now have to do the rest of the code so basically now we'll handle the speeds so now we get the boolean changed and now let's do the speed handling so handle speed the speed and here we'll do all the current speed movement changing so if is a sprinting and input vector is greater the y input vector dot y is greater than zero then we will write current speed equals run speed so run speed <laughs> else if else if is a sprinting and and input vector dot y is smaller than 0.0f say current speed equals run back speed so means we are moving backwards we should have the run back speed set if we are walking if we are walking and input vector similar pattern input vector dot y is greater than 0.0f you will say current speed equals our walk speed so walk speed else if 
is working and input vector dot y input vector input vector dot y is smaller than 0, 0.0 f then current speed equals walk back speed and if is crouching and input vector vector again dot y is greater than 0, 0.0 f basically it's zero really but we just write this current speed equals crouch speed and we write else if is crouching again is crouching and input vector dot y is smaller than zero current speed equals crouch back speed so now our current speed will always be modified whenever we are changing from sprinting to crouching or walking so just call this method every update uh, we define another jump so let's just put it here okay handle speeds okay then so that's it really now let's get something else done we will have to comment this out because the problem otherwise would be counter speed increases the jump height will be more for no reason so we should just manually move it so transform dot up multiplied by velocity y let's move it with velocity y and then we do time dot delta time okay time a whole time dot delta time that's it and now we can have, we've done all this code really nice okay is telling me no need for that same thing up here we don't need this okay now we can test this out after yeah we'll remove this move direction in a bit maybe in the next video for now let's just keep it here and let's just move forward so let's hit the let's hit compile scripts save the project sorry save the script and to command this in the script anyway so in the player you can see that i do not oh see i told you i had not written it so i have to equal it to crouch back speed has to be one so equals one save we'll still not change it we'll manually change it here at one okay one and the jump for save the project jump for size i think six is good and now we can hit play and you can see that i get the ground just like before i can move about just like before let's just show you what's going on to the current speed by changing the Inpex inspector mode to debug and you can see the current speed variable changing every time I go forward and backward you can see going at 7 and our booleans are also not it's not like 2 will be ticked at a one time so always 1 is ticked so that's good now and you can see that our current speed is 7 if I there is a problem in there yeah let me just show you there's something not good so you can see here the gravity multiplier okay let's just change it to make it better jumping oh that looks better yeah i like that jumping effect and if we handle the space bar of course it jumps continuously that's the good thing about our script we put it it's pressed okay let's show you the problem so if i move backwards it's currently set to sorry i'm going forward set to three if i am running shift oh you can see the current speed didn't change you see that it stayed even though it's walking even then it's seven so we'll just add a simple line of code to fix this problem first make the cavity multiplies to save our project again Okay, it's pretty simple to fix one if we'll do that for us so up here above before we actually check the easy printing and all that big chunk of code not down here sorry mistake i have to do it up up there 
maybe down sorry yeah down here is also okay but we'll do it up there so that we don't modify it even if it's just you know override that and for no basically even if you're walking back you'll be then set to a basic speed of the walking but we want it to be different so up there if there is nothing if it is walking just set current speed to walk speed and uh, current speed equals run speed and if we are crouching then we do current speed equals I think we don't need these two this one is enough that's the really problem because there's no key that actually enables and disables the walking you just take take the two you just check if it's, it's sprinting and crouch if it's not is sprinting and crouching it's walking it's just not which that's why we just need it for the walking so um yeah now it's better right so you can see if i move you can move right forward if i run and i lead release it you can see it still goes to back to the normal three i can move about and you can see if i change it it's going smooth and nice yeah and we always jump the same height so depending on the speed it doesn't change what is the force of the jump maybe that looks yeah that looks great okay that's the final value this is copy the component and paste in the values and that's it just to set it back to normal save the project and that's it for this video um, uh, yeah we're handling sprinting crouching yeah okay